Welcome back to another episode of Lawyer Up and to the Right. I'm joined today, as always, by my co-host, Cesar Cobo. And today, Cesar is going to do a deep dive into Google Search Console. And the reason why we're doing this is for you to understand how your website is currently performing with organic search, or maybe more importantly, if you're paying an agency, you're not exactly sure what they're doing, or they're sending you all sorts of fancy reports. This is going to be a very, very simple, quick and dirty analysis for how to understand how your website is performing with Google. Let's get into it. Hey, excited for another episode here. And this is gonna be a different one because uh, we're gonna get into actually looking at data, which sometimes can be a bit terrifying, but uh, I'm gonna do my best to simplify this in a way that uh, anyone, even uh, regardless of your SEO background, can understand. So there's a number of different reporting tools that you can use to understand how your SEO is performing. The two main ones, which should be installed on your website are Google Analytics, and Google Search Console. Now, if you're working with an agency, I'm sure they have them up. If they don't, if you're not working with an agency, make sure you get these installed because otherwise you're gonna be operating blind and you're not really gonna know what's happening on your website. So today we're gonna to be talking about Google Search Console, not Google Analytics and Caesar. Talk a little bit about why you prefer to use Search Console over Google Analytics for this type of analysis. Uh, so the biggest difference between Google Search Console and Google Analytics is Search Console is a keyword based tool, whereas analytics is a traffic based tool. So you're going to get more information from search console when it comes to what keywords your site is ranking for and things like click through rates, uh, and also a performance of, of the site overall from a technical standpoint as well. So essentially it's an SEO tool versus an overall marketing tool. Yeah, it's an SEO tool. And the, the best thing or the great thing about it is that it's free. And there's a lot of other third party SEO tools that do the job, but they're not absolutely necessary, especially if you just want to get some sort of idea. You're not trying to go really deep into the weeds. One of the biggest differentiator is that Google Search Console will only give you data on your website, whereas third party tools will give you uh, information on competitors. So this is only to evaluate how your site is performing. Awesome. So Caesar, give us a quick breakdown of what we're looking at here and, and how they can navigate through Search yeah. Console. Yeah. So again, the first thing is you want to make sure that your site is registered with Search Console. And then once that is the case, then you can come here into the overview tab is a good place to start. This is just going to give you an overall look of how your site's performing. You can see here that these are clicks. Now, if you want to go into each or an individual report specifically, you just come here to full report. And what it's going to do is give you the ability to adjust the look back range here. So this is for the last three months. You can go as far back as 16 months, or you can go as recent as today or the last seven days. Typically, when I'm looking at positioning, when I'm looking at rankings, I don't want to use such a big window because three months, there can be a lot of fluctuation that happens over those, those three months. So I'll look at something like last seven days. If I just want to see what keywords I'm ranking for and where I'm ranking for. So you need to activate this uh, option here where it tells you average position. And now if you look down here at the table, you can see the keyword or the query that people are typing in, how many clicks you've gotten from uh, Google for that query, the impressions, how many times it's been shown, and on average where you're ranking. So for context too, for everyone watching this, Search Console is a very deep tool. You can get into technical analysis. We're not gonna look at that stuff here. Really what we want to focus on is the peer performance. So there's a lot that goes on in Google Search Console. You can use this for technical analysis. You can use this for a whole bunch of different things. But what we want to focus on today is this exact report that Caesar's in. This is a performance report. And the reason is, is for exactly what I just said, is that this will tell you exactly how your website's performing. Now, you can slice and dice this data in a number of different ways. So Caesar, why don't you kind of walk us through, if you were looking at, or if a law firm came to you and said, hey, Caesar, I've been working with this SEO agency for the last 12 months. I don't really know what's going on. They send me reports. What would you do to analyze the performance of their website and to help them answer that question? Yeah, so a more useful way, I think, of looking at this is you have the option of viewing the data at a keyword level or pages level. So a good way to 
get an assessment as to how your SEO is performing is selecting pages here. And now this is just uh, rolling up all of the clicks for this page, given uh, the queries that it's ranking for, same thing for impressions, and then on average where this page is ranking. So a good thing would be if you wanted to see how your SEO campaign is going is to use the compare feature here when you look at the date range and then select custom. Now you can go back to whenever the campaign started. So let's just say, for example, uh, campaign started in January of 22. So we'll select uh, actually Let's go to the previous month here, February of 23. And then you want to compare that to when the campaign started. So if that's January. So here you can see that clearly this campaign has improved because you can see the click difference for all of the all of your pages here is positive. If this were going down or if it would be the same, um, you would either see a negative or it would be a very low number, but you can see that for at least the top 10 pages, there's been, and this is, this is monthly. So there's been a good amount of increase in traffic, same thing for impressions. And then you can do the same for positioning. The only thing with positioning that you have to be careful about is this is actually better to look at keywords because the more keywords that you rank for, that a page ranks for, the positioning can actually get worse because uh, there's just more keywords to take an average of. An average keyword, yeah. So you could just do the same here, go, go over to queries. And if there's any specific query that you have that you were interested or a keyword that you really wanted to rank for, let's just say, you know, non-compete here. Um, it's, it's here, but you can also just copy it and come over to this filter. Let's just say, for example, it wasn't obvious. It wasn't in the, the top 10 here. You can filter by query, right? And then it'll give you all of the keywords that your site is ranking for that has this in the keyword. And I, I think it's important to, to understand really the difference when we're looking at the data between queries and pages, right? I agree pages is a very, a little bit more high level analysis because it's gonna aggregate all the keywords that that page is ranking for, right? Versus queries. So if you go back to, if you remove that filter, Caesar, what you'll see is that you have to look at them both. It's like two sides of a coin, right? Because if you just look at pages, then those pages could be ranking for queries that are not relevant to the business or the brand, right? So you look at something like the name of the law firm, right? That could be massively, you know, if you're doing a lot of like billboard advertising or TV spots or radio advertising, what's gonna happen is people are gonna hear your law firm's name, they're gonna go to Google, they're gonna search for it, and they're gonna come to your website through that keyword. Now, yes, that technically is organic traffic and it's important organic traffic, but when you're working with an agency or a consultant, you want to focus on what we call like commercial searches, right? So we're talking about what are the searches that people are using to find your business that have no attachment or no, uh, no understanding of what you did before that, right? So understanding how to look through these queries to understand the impact that, that they're having on your business is also very important, right? It's not good enough to just look at total traffic. And that's kind of a trick that a lot of SEO agencies will use is that they'll show you overall traffic going up every month. And you might be sitting there saying, okay, great. Like it, it appears from the reports that they're sending me that we're doing better. Uh, but unless you really start to slice and dice this data, and we're not even talking about complicated slicing and dicing here, we're talking about very simple, understanding what pages are getting traffic, and then even more so, what are the queries that are driving traffic? So Caesar, actually, if you go back to pages, this is kind of cool too. click on pages. And then if you click on one of those top pages, you can then refilter this now for queries. So you can see what queries right. this page is specifically ranked for. So now if you click on the queries tab again, it should pull up all of, and you'll see the filter at the top there. And now you'll see all the queries that that page is specifically ranking for. So again, uh, what you can do is you can really drill into queries overall, pages overall, but then if you start to individually click on each page and then refilter by queries, you can now see all the keywords that that page is ranked for and how much specifically traffic and impressions and clicks that that page, that that query is actually driving for that page. Yep. And you can also sort it here by uh, any of these headings. So you can say difference by clicks and here it, it'll give you which ones have the most improvement as far as the keyword, or you can go the other way and see what keywords you're actually losing clicks for and impressions for, and then do some, you can then start doing some research as to maybe why that's happening. But for the most part, you just want to see that there's every, everything here is positive, that your traffic is increasing. 
Uh, another thing you can do here is once you've established whether or not your keyword visibility and your and your traffic from those keywords is either going up or down, is to start using this to get ideas for new topics. All right, so a good way to get ideas as to uh, new topics that you should be targeting, um, or if you're doing video FAQs and you wanna know what questions people are asking, that Google is associating to your website, a good way to do that is uh, here you wanna change the look back to the last 28 days and come over to query and then use impressions. So here, some of these keywords, you're probably not going to be ranking very well for, but what it does is it starts giving you ideas as to uh, what Google is potentially uh, will potentially show your website for. So if you start going through this list and you can expand this, it, it's only showing 10 by default, but you can expand it up to 500 if you wanted to. Let's say the top 50 keywords go through each of these keywords now. And uh, if you see any here that are relevant to your service, what you can do is also activate the positioning. So here you can see, for example, this keyword here, warranty deed. If that was an important keyword for me, I'm getting a decent amount of impressions. This is only for the last month, uh, almost 2,500 impressions for that keyword. And but I'm ranking in position 25 or 24, let's say. So I'm not going to I'm probably not going to get any traffic for that. So what you can do then is select this keyword so that you isolate it and then you come over to pages and this will tell you what page that keyword is mapped to. So it's uh, there's a specific page for that keyword. What is a warranty deed? So I know at least I have a page that is targeting that keyword. And then and then if if the case uh, calls for it, I may want to go back in there and update the page so that it's better optimized to target that keyword. So that was a very, very quick and dirty analysis of how you can either tell if your website is going in the right direction with Google or to do a little bit of analysis just to verify that the SEO agency that you're working with is actually doing what they promise and you're, they're actually getting the results that they're showing you. Because remember, reporting can be sliced and diced in a number of different ways and can be telling you a story that may or may not be accurate. If your traffic is going up, it's not enough. You gotta be going up for the right keywords, the right pages, and ultimately driving conversions as well. So if you need help with any of this stuff, if you want us to take a look at your website, if you want us to validate this for you and tell you that your agency is doing good work or not, all you gotta do is click the link below, schedule the time to talk to both Caesar and myself, and hopefully we'll see you there. And if not, we'll see you next week. Till next time.